Hello, I'm Johnny Chaffin from Collins Manufacturing, and today we're going to talk about how to change out the repair cartridge on the 570 faucet. It's one of our best-selling faucets. We do have repair cartridges available for it. If you call in with your faucet, we have we change cartridges in um, like July of 2014. We have to know the year of your bowl. If we know the year, we can get you the correct cartridge. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get a rag and put that in your bowl. You don't, you're going to be working with small pieces. You don't want to fool around and drop some of those small pieces in the bowl. Turn your water off underneath uh, where your cutoffs are or where depending the the bowl you have. Then we're going to remove this little blue dot, blue and red dot. It's just held in with rubber. It's a small piece. You just need a sharp object to reach in, pop it out. It just pops in. And that's why we have the rag in the bowl. Now some of the faucets will have a small flathead screw. Some of them have an Allen wrench. This particular one has the Allen wrench. It's a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. It shouldn't be very tight, and you want to loosen it just enough to get the handle to come off. If you unscrew the Allen wrench all the way, it's very difficult to get this very small screw started back into this hole. So only loosen it enough to get it off this. Next, we're going to loosen this little discussion. Discussion. You want to use, if you have to use channel locks, make sure to put a rag over the top of it so you don't damage your valve. Gently turn it. And take the discussion off. And there's a brass nut here. This you can actually use this, a crescent wrench for this. I'm going to loosen this up. And then the cartridge will lift out. Now you need to note the orientation of the cartridge. There's notches in here that, that these tabs have to go into. You have to put it back exactly like you took it out. If you do not, or if it doesn't match, you have the wrong cartridge. So assembly is just the reversal of taking it apart, put it in, make sure it's aligned and seated well in the tabs. Reinstall your parts, snug them down. They do not require to be overly tightened. Uh, the one thing I didn't mention a while ago is while you're loosening your valve, Make sure you hold back up on the valve body so you don't damage the valve the way it's attached to your sink. I forgot to mention that. And again, you're not, you're not over tightening this. It's sealing on a rubber seal. Just snug. Install your discussion. It's primary just for looks. It can be hand tight. Make sure your handle's pointed the correct way. Slide it down on there. Just tighten this up enough to where it doesn't pop out. Your little blue and red dot. The red goes to the left, blue goes to the right. Just reinstall your dot and you're ready to go. Then you just replace your cartridge. Again, I'm Johnny Chaffin from Collins Manufacturing.